The number one mistake that you can make is to annoy a Sigma male. We all have pet peeves, and you don't want to be one on the list of Sigma males. Sigma males may appear tough and unfazed, but they are easily annoyed. They value their boundaries and peace. So when someone steps on their toes, it can feel like a personal affront. But don't worry, you don't need to walk on eggshells around them. Instead, let's dive into the six common things that really annoy Sigma males. Are you ready for number one? Monotonous environments. Let's be real. Monotonous environments are like a dull pencil, useless and frustrating. Sigma males can't stand it when everything around them is the same old. Same old. You know the drill. Cubicles that look like they were designed by a robot. And the conversations that could put a caffeinated squirrel to sleep. According to psychologist Dr. David B. Ausubel, boredom is the experience of a lack of interest. So, when boredom strikes, it's like a slow leak in their motivation. Sigma males crave stimulation and creativity. If they aren't challenged or engaged, you might as well be trying to wake a hibernating bear. Let's not sugarcoat it. When Sigma males are stuck in monotonous environments, their mood can take a nosedive. They thrive on excitement, novelty, and those little bursts of inspiration that make life spicy. So if you want to keep a Sigma male engaged, throw in some unpredictability and a bit of fun. Otherwise, be prepared for them to daydream about being on a deserted island, sipping pina coladas while they plot their escape from the monotony. Let's talk about number two, people who challenge their quiet or reserved nature. For Sigma males, being reserved isn't just a phase they're going through. It's part of who they are. When people push them to be more outgoing, it feels annoying to them. As therapist Dr. Jennifer Hartstein says, it's essential to embrace your authentic self. So when Sigma males feel that pressure to change, it's like someone saying, your identity is too boring, let's spice it up. And honestly, who needs that kind of negativity in their life? Now picture this, you're sipping coffee at a party, enjoying the view from the sidelines, when suddenly someone shoves you into the spotlight. It's awkward, right? That's how Sigma males feel when they're nudged to be more social. It feels invasive and dismissive, as if their unique strength, their ability to listen and observe, is somehow less valuable. Remember, as psychologist Dr. Susan Cain points out, there's zero correlation between being the best talker and having the best ideas. So instead of insisting they join the loudest karaoke rendition of Don't Stop Believin', how about letting them be the cool, calm observers in the corner? Trust me, they'll appreciate the effort and maybe even have a great idea or two when you least expect it. Let's move on to number three, unwanted advice. Unwanted or unsolicited advice is the gift that keeps on giving, or should I say the gift that keeps on annoying? For Sigma males, when someone swoops in with their helpful tips, it can feel like they just tried to hand you a salad at a barbecue. Thanks, but no thanks. They prefer to tackle their challenges and find solutions that fit their style. It's not that they don't appreciate help. It's just that they're more like lone wolves than sheep following the herd. As life coach Mel Robbins says, you are the expert on your own life and Sigma males take that to heart. So when a well-meaning friend tries to play the role of a life coach without a license, it can come off as patronizing. Like someone saying, let me tell you how to do that simple task you've been doing for years. Imagine being told how to fix your car by someone who can't even change a tire. Sigma males see right through that. It's not just annoying. It feels dismissive of their experiences and intelligence. Sigma males know what they're doing. They're on their journey, and they don't need a GPS from someone who hasn't even been down that road. So if you genuinely want to help a Sigma male, save your advice when they ask for it. Otherwise, just sit back, grab some popcorn, and enjoy the show. They'll figure it out just fine. Now, let's continue to number four, attention seekers. 
Let's get real. Attention-seeking behavior can be as draining as trying to charge your phone with a broken charger. For Sigma males, who thrive on deep, meaningful connections, dealing with someone who constantly needs the spotlight can feel like a marathon you didn't sign up for. It's like trying to have a meaningful conversation while someone is dancing on the table, shouting for everyone to notice them. Dr. Brittay Brown, a well-known expert on vulnerability and connection, once said, Connection is why we're here. It's what gives purpose and meaning to our lives. So when someone is more focused on getting attention than forming real connections, it feels disrespectful to the very essence of what Sigma males value. Picture this. You're at a party and you just want to have a chill conversation. But there's that one person who keeps interrupting, trying to steal the show. Sigma males find that kind of needy behavior exhausting. It's like trying to watch a great movie while someone keeps pausing it to say, did you see that part? They crave depth over shallow interactions and attention seekers can make that feel impossible. Psychologist Dr. Linda Blair puts it perfectly. People who need constant attention can often feel emotionally needy and make others feel drained. So if you ever find yourself in a conversation with a Sigma male, remember to keep it authentic. They'll appreciate the effort, and you might just find yourself having a much more meaningful interaction. You shouldn't miss number five, controlling behavior. For Sigma males, feeling like someone is trying to steer their ship while they're perfectly capable of sailing it themselves can be incredibly frustrating. It's like someone insisting on driving your car while you're just trying to enjoy the scenic route. They thrive on independence and the freedom to explore new ideas. So when someone constantly hovers, it can make them feel stuck. It can lead to a serious drop in motivation and to creativity. Imagine this. You're gearing up for a bold new project, ready to dive in and see where it takes you. But suddenly, someone swoops in like a dramatic reality show villain, trying to take control. It's annoying, right? Controlling behavior not only saps the excitement out of the process, but can also lead to frustration that would make a saint want to pull their hair out. Dr. Judith Orloff, a psychiatrist says, controlling people can stifle your creativity and reduce your motivation. So, if you're working with a Sigma male, just remember to trust their instincts and give them some space. You might just find they come up with something way more brilliant than you could ever dictate from the sidelines. Finally, we're down to number six, sudden and unnecessary disturbance. Let's face it, we all know that one person who just can't resist barging in when you're deep in thought. For Sigma males, sudden and unnecessary disturbances can feel like a bull in a china shop, loud, clumsy, and totally unwelcome. As psychologist Dr. Michael Merzenich puts it, concentration is a state of flow and interruptions can break that flow. Sigma males thrive on deep thinking and creativity so when their focus is shattered, it's not just frustrating, it can lead to a serious dip in the quality of their work. Life coach Tony Robbins reminds us, where focus goes, energy flows. So when that focus gets interrupted, it can feel like trying to run a marathon with someone constantly yelling at you to stop and start over. So if you want to keep a Sigma male happy and productive, remember to respect their space and let them work in peace. In conclusion, knowing what annoys Sigma males can help you steer clear of unnecessary drama and keep the peace in your interactions. Understanding their triggers is key to maintaining a good relationship. Remember, it's all about balance. So next time you find yourself in a conversation with a Sigma male, keep these annoyances in mind, and you might just find yourself enjoying a deeper, and more meaningful connection. After all, a happy Sigma male is a productive one. Just don't forget to